Hey everybody, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. In a previous video, we discussed custom items in inventory. This is how you can track, using custom items, you can track data uh, in your environment that cannot otherwise be scanned via inventory. As an example, and for a refresher quickly, we'll go to the preferences menu, or preferences uh, window, and the custom items panel. You see we have three custom items that we've defined. Um, approved AutoCAD, approved Visio. We can mark machines that are approved to run these for licensing purposes. And then a warranty expire date. So we're going to create a report off the warranty expire date. Go to report, basic. We'll call this warranty expires within 60 days. All right. What do you, as with any report that you're building, what do you want to show? In this case, we'll show the computer name. We'll add another column. Any custom item that you add is going to be available in the computer table. So we go to the computer table again, go to warranty expire date, and now we have to specify the filters. What do we want? Well, we said we want to show computers that expire within 60 days. Computer table, the filter is going to be down to the warranty expire date in that table. I'm going to change the comparison to before in this case. See that little ellipsis right there? We're going to click that for the value. Instead of a fixed date, we'll do a relative date. And since this is 60 days, we'll change this to 60 days from now. Say OK. Click up here. We'll save and run. Perfect. These are the machines that have either expired already or their warranty will expire within 60 days from the time the report is run. So when I run this report in, in another week, obviously it's going to extend that out another week because it's relative. I hope you can see where this information can help. Uh, we'll go into reports if we want. I'm going to duplicate this report. Open it up. Let's edit it. I'm going to change the name or the uh, value for this second report from within 60 days to how about within a year, 365, 365 days. So we'll change the uh, value from 60 to 365, simple as typing, save it, pardon me, clicking there, save, little bug we've got, and run. Now you can see the computers that will expire, have either already expired or will expire within a year. So that's how you can track custom data. Remember, custom items, you need to enter this information for each machine. For example, if I wanted to come over to SLIMS, open the SLIMS window, usually you're on the computer panel or the applications panel. No, this time go to custom items. I need to enter the expiration date for, for SLIMS. I can either choose the calendar. We'll say that it's going to be January 7th of 2015. And now that information is tracked. We could, when, when we run our reports, we'll see SLIMS has been added there. So it's a one-time hit. That's how you can create your reports. It's the same way with creating collections. Um, obviously, you just use the, the same filters that you have for your reports. So I'm Shane. If you have any questions, by all means, hit our forums, send us an email, pray, whatever. Talk to you later.